Hello and welcome to Springboard Media's Active Tips. I'm Amanda Urbanzik, Teaching and Learning Coordinator. Today we're going to take a look at how you can work with grids in Active Inspire. There's a couple different ways to get your grid on the page. The first is to go to Edit and then select Grid. The thing I need to check is Visible. It's going to put the grid on the page. I can change how large the steps are and what color the grid is. If I didn't want to do it that way, I can get rid of this grid and come over into my browsers. I can also do this in my browsers. In the property browser, there's a section for grid, and I can select true. That will make the grid visible. It's also giving me the scale, the scale and the steps, as well as um, the layers that I would see. The third way I can work with creating a grid would be to use the button on the mouse to get a control click. I need to make sure I'm using the pointer as I do this, and it's going to give me the options for my page. Here's a shortcut for the grid designer. And that's going to bring up that same menu that we saw underneath edit. The grid is automatically locked to the background of the page, so you can't move it around. However, if you bring up that grid designer, you can decide where it starts in your y-axis and your x-axis. So you can not have the grid cover the whole page. Once you have your grid, you can use the annotation tools to cover over it. It's not a very precise line. Let's take a look at my pen modifiers. I'm going to click on tool and pen modifiers. Now, in my annotations, it will only let me draw an exact straight line. No matter how much I wiggle my pen here, it's making a straight line every time. Because the pen is annotations, when I hit clear annotations, they're gone. My grid remains. I can also use shapes to add straight lines that aren't going to be removed when I clear annotation. Thanks for watching today's active tip. Check out some more resources on our website.